you are not your body, but your body is like a part of you. It is your teammate. It is what is holding you to this physical world. It is what is allowing you to exist in this third dimensional reality where you can create and experience. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Dawn and I am here to help you manifest a life that you will love. You know, like the kind of life that will make you actually want to get out of bed in the morning. Because guess what? You are created in the image of the one creator and therefore you yourself are a creator. And you did not come here to let the circumstances that you created rule over you. You came here to create your own experience and thus learn wisdom from that experience and evolve and just keep on creating. Today I have a video that was requested. Someone wanted to know more about how to manifest better health. And so I am here to share with you my experience and how I for myself have manifested better health, both physically and mentally. But of course, I have to say, because we're talking about health here, I am not a doctor, and if you have something seriously, seriously wrong with you, please go to a doctor. But I will say that your mind and your body are connected. Like there's no like wall or barrier between like your mind and your body, and it's like they don't affect each other, they're like their own separate entities. No, they are one system. So they are always working together. Your mind affects your body, your body will affect your mind. So today we are going to talk about how you can use your mind to have a positive effect on your body and on your health. Yes, there have been people who have used manifesting in the law of assumption to cure themselves of diseases. But me personally, I have not in my life suffered any really serious diseases so I can't really share an experience on how to use manifesting to get rid of a really terrible disease but just know that it's possible but what I'm going to share today is more about how to use manifesting to keep your health at an optimal level and also how to manifest away certain ailments so that you can exist and feel your optimal best. Before I get into the video, I do want to let you know that I offer manifestation coaching. So if you need a little one-on-one -on -one help with this material that I present in these videos, maybe you need some accountability, or maybe you just need some exercises and processes suggested to you so that you can stay focused on your manifestation journey and thus shorten the time between you and your desired reality. Here are the details for that. Okay, so how does one use co-creation in manifesting to manifest better health for themselves? Better physical and mental health, because again, your mind and your body are connected. The first thing you need to do is you need to be clear about how you want your body to feel or what you want your health to feel like. So let's say you have anxiety. Instead of using the affirmation, I am anxiety free. I don't have anxiety. I never have anxiety. That may work for you, but honestly, I would caution against using that kind of information because you're putting your focus on the anxiety. If you say to your subconscious mind, I am anxiety free. Well, your subconscious mind is like, I don't know what that means. What does anxiety free mean? I know what anxiety means. Oh, you want more anxiety? Okay, let's give you some more anxiety. So instead, what you want to do in order for that not to be an issue, you want to tell your subconscious mind how you want to feel. How do you want to feel in your body? If you don't want anxiety, well then maybe you want to feel grounded. Maybe you want to feel calm. Maybe you want to feel at ease. So you would say affirmations like, I am always grounded. I am always completely calm. I am always at ease. I always am super chill. Whatever affirmation it is that works for you. But you want to say that affirmation over and over again 
whenever you think about it, you don't have to sit in meditation for hours and affirm, affirm, affirm. Just live your life. Do not put your focus on anything else besides how you want to feel and keep affirming for how you want to feel. Let's say you're experiencing some kind of sickness. Instead of trying to manifest away the sickness by saying, I am not sick, I am no longer sick, my sickness is gone. No, instead you want to affirm for things like, I feel so full of vital energy, I am energized, I feel so well, I feel so healthy, I feel so comfortable in my body, things of that sort. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to constantly give gratitude for your body, your physical body, and for the health that you do currently have. Because let's say you're trying to manifest away a sickness. Let's say you're terribly sick and you're laying in your bed. What you want to do is you want to, even though you kind of feel crappy right now, you want to give gratitude for the health that you have. Are you still breathing? Is your heart still working? Are your lungs still getting air? Can you move all of your body parts? Like your, the health that you do have, constantly feel gratitude for that. Like something that I do is I will intentionally like talk to my body and give thanks to my body for the health that I do have. So I will say to my body, thank you so much for keeping me healthy. Thank, thank you for being my teammate and thank you for always you know fighting fighting germs fighting the bad germs and fighting the sicknesses and even when I don't feel well you always fight hard for me so that I can feel well and thank you body for being on my side thank you body for allowing me to be productive in my day thank you for helping me to live my life in the most healthy, most wonderful way. Just, I would just say these like, just positive affirmations, just anything that comes to my mind that's giving gratitude for to my body and the things that it does for me every single day, 24 seven, even when I'm not awake, that will do wonders to help improve your health. So remember to give thanks to your cells, give thanks to your organs, to your tissues, for bringing you this far and for bringing you even further forward and for everything that they do for you. And at the same time, as you're giving gratitude to your body for being on your side and for helping you to feel so healthy and feel so alive, you also need to act in alignment with that. So you can't be thanking your body, thank you so, so much for keeping me so healthy and full of energy and I'm so grateful for you while you go, let's say you go smoke 10 packs of cigarettes and drink a case of beer and 10 cheeseburgers. So I'm not saying you have to like completely cut out all sweets and, and completely stop drinking alcohol and completely stop doing this and that and you need to be this like perfect health virgin, this like perfect being. No, you do not have to do that. But you need to make sure and as much as you can because I know sometimes we slip up, but as much as you can you need to make sure that you're making decisions and you're behaving in alignment with the improvement of your health. You cannot expect your health to improve while you are constantly thinking really bad things about your health and about yourself and about your body, while you're eating super unhealthily or putting poisons into your body, toxins into your body. You can't expect your health to improve while also doing all of those things. So as much as you can, try to behave as if you were already a super healthy, full of energy person. Drink more water. Eat a few more vegetables. Maybe take a multivitamin. And I can hear some people saying, uh, like, you know what, I came here to, to learn how to use manifestation magic to make my body healthy, not to actually have to do healthy things for my body. Well, then you <laughs> don't have to watch this video because I am definitely never, ever, ever, ever going to preach or try to tell anybody that they should treat their body like crap, but it's okay because you can just manifest that away. No, I'm a strong believer and 
your actions matching your words. And if you are genuinely using affirmations and manifestation to have a healthier body, healthier mind, you have to start acting as if you would act. If you truly had a healthy body and a healthy mind, you have to do things in alignment with that reality. You have to exist in that reality. If you are harming your body or, like I said, speaking really negatively about your body or thinking really negatively about your body, you are not existing in the reality where you are a strong, happy, healthy, physically healthy, mentally healthy person. You need to get it into your mind that your body is not separate from you. Like, you are not your body, but your body is like a part of you. It is your teammate. It is what is holding you to this physical world. It is what is allowing you to exist in this third dimensional reality where you can create and experience and in experience your desires and have fun in this life and all of that stuff. So start treating your body like your teammate. Start treating your body like you would a friend. One thing that I like to do is if I feel really sick, or I feel just physically unwell instead of like feeling bad about my body or being like, oh, I can't believe I feel sick right now. Like, why is my body doing this? I will instead speak to my body like I would like as if it was my child, maybe. I don't have children, but if I had children, like, you know, I, I speak to my body as if I truly care about it and I want what's best for it and I want it to feel healthy and happy and good. So I would speak gently to my body. Yes, I actually do this. <laughs> I would just be like, you know what? Like, let's say I'm feeling really low energy and I just don't feel good. Maybe I feel a no little nauseous. I'll just be like, you know what, body? It's okay. Like, we'll just lay down. Let's relax. We're just gonna lay down and relax. It's okay. Like, you can take today to just rest. And I know tomorrow, like, we'll feel so much better. Let's take time. I want you to, and I thank you so much for, like, getting rid of this feeling and for helping helping bring me back into a healthy, optimal state. So I'm going to give this rest to you. I'll speak very gently and nicely to my body, and it works. It honestly works. I remember one time, like, I was so, so sick that I, I think I was like really, really hungover and I was so sick. I could not keep any fluids or food down. I couldn't even keep like ice cubes. I started like, someone said that I should like suck on ice cubes if I couldn't drink water and I couldn't even keep that down. Like even that would make me, you know, get sick. So I remember one time it was so, so bad that I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna try this because I don't know what else to do. I've been trying to take the medicine, I've been trying to drink, get water, it's not working, my body's just not having it, so let me just try talking to my body and reasoning with my body, almost. And I remember just being like, you know what, body? Like, I remember this plain as day, like, I really did this, you guys. I, like, closed my eyes, I took a deep breath, and I was like, body, we don't need to do this. All of this getting sick, this not holding in fluids, like, we don't need to do this. It's okay. You can stop now, you can calm down now. We need the water, we need to drink water. You know, almost like I was co coaxing a child, you know? Like, we need water, we need it. So like, no more, no more getting sick. Let's not do this, we don't need this. It's okay, it's okay, I forgive you. I forgive you for being so sick like this, but it's time to stop. We don't need it, we need to get healthy now. Okay, so relax, 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 and I just try to relax myself as much as possible and take deep breaths and just like surrender and just be like, we're not doing this anymore. And then I swear to you, after that, I did not, I did not get sick again and I was able to start drinking water and then I was able to eat some crackers and it was fine and I, my health only went up from there. But it took me like really being able to let go of the fact that I was sick and to feel the feelings, like I wanted to feel calm, I wanted to feel like my, my body was hearing me and getting better, so I just like felt that and it, it happened. So I really, really want you to understand just how connected your mind and your body is. Your body will listen to you. It will. It has to. It works for you. Your body works for you, not against you. So to recap, 
you want to become clear on how you want to feel in your body. Do you want to feel more energy? Do you want to feel just a general sense of more well-being? Do you want to feel motivated? Do you want to feel strong? Do you want to feel grounded? Do you want to feel calm? Do you want to feel full of vitality? And you want to keep thinking thoughts and affirming as if you already are that healthy being that you want to be physically and mentally. And you also want to make sure that your actions and your behaviors are in alignment with that new reality of you as that healthy being in body, mind, and spirit. So that means trying as much as you can to cut out negative thinking about your body, any behaviors that you're doing that you know is really harming your body. You want to allow yourself to step into that new version of yourself and that new reality where you are actually already 100% that healthy person that you want to be. And if you ever do fall ill or you know experience ill health, something that's really going to help you is to use your mind to work with your body to help your body get healthier again. So sending your body gratitude, feelings of love, talking to your body, and just using your mind and using your emotions to, to send light and healthy feelings and healthy thoughts and healthy energies to your body so that it can become well. Again, everything that I share in this video is my own experience, and I'm sure you have your own experience, so please share your experience in the comment section below. I would love to hear about how you have manifested better health for yourself, or if you have not currently manifested better health for yourself, then how you plan on doing it. We're still a pretty small community here, so I do read and respond to every single comment. But I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about it, please let me know as well. And as always, I thank you so, so much for your precious, precious attention. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.